almost didn't turn my microphone on then. That would have been bad. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking about my July favourites. <sighs> it's August in like a couple of days. It'll probably be August when you're watching this. I can't, like, I can't deal with it. It's insane. This month is going to be like my busiest month, so I'm quite nervous. I was thinking about what to put in this video and I've actually ended up with quite a big amount of stuff. So I'm basically just gonna jump in and talk about the stuff I've been loving in July. And I'm gonna start with a foundation. It's funny because this is a foundation I tried probably about maybe three, four years ago when I was first starting up my channel. And I actually use this in like some of my original videos, but for some reason it never used to last on my skin but it's actually been my daily foundation for probably this whole month, maybe a bit longer. It's not like the most long lasting or the most full coverage, but just as a day to day, more affordable option, this is what I use. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. And one of the reasons I really love this as well is that the color is literally perfect. So this is 103 True Ivory and it just matches my skin perfectly. So I don't have to worry about foundation lines that kind of thing, it just does the trick and I really do like it. I've really kind of come around to it. I was so skeptical. I know they have slightly changed the formula, so I'm not sure if that's made a difference to me or anything. I'm not actually wearing it today, funnily enough, um, but I do really love this. The color is just perfect and it's just a great. It's definitely like, um, probably like a light medium coverage, more of a medium if you build it up, which is what I tend to do. And I, uh, I wear this to work, I wear it in the evenings, I just wear it all the time, it's great. Might as well put these two together. I also wanna mention the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. I finished up my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder this month. Um, I've actually repurchased one, but I've been using this just in the meantime and it actually does such a great job. I use this to like bake in this area, like oily T-zone and it definitely helps with shine. It sets my under eyes well. I use that today under my eyes. And I just think this is a great one if you're on a budget, if you can't afford the Laura Mercier one or if you don't wanna buy something too high end, then this is definitely um, an option. I would recommend it, definitely give it a go. It's just a nice translucent powder and you just get so much product in here. Like this will last you forever. So I think I might just use this one on like a day to day basis and maybe save my Laura Mercier one for more like special occasions because obviously it's a bit more pricey. I think I'm gonna carry on with this one and save my Laura Mercier one for something special. This is such a great product and so affordable. The majority of my things are affordable actually just looking at what I've got. I wanna mention some lipsticks. I've had these for a while and I don't know if I've ever mentioned them in a favorites video. Um, I'd say the packaging isn't amazing, it kind of isn't great, or maybe this one's just a bit broken. But these are the NYX High Voltage Lipsticks and honestly, the formula of these it's so nice it's just so creamy and just so pigmented i've like barely swatched that and it's just got so much pigment they are such nice lipsticks i really want to get more shades i've got the shades um i've got stone which is like one of those sort of grage type colors and then i've got flutter kiss i think it's called which is more of a like sort of deeper mid range plum shade. I really love both of them, but I just really love the formula. They're just really creamy and they basically look like your natural lips but just a different color. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else, but that's how I feel about these. They just kind of sit on the lips so nicely, you barely feel them and they give so much pigment, they're great. I definitely would recommend these as well. I don't think I've tried a lip product from the brand that I haven't liked. Um, yeah, but these are definitely up there. They're so nice. And I feel like I don't hear as many people talking about these ones as like some of their other products. So definitely, if you can get your hands on these, I would give them a go. Okay, the next affordable thing is from Makeup Revolution. I think it's just called Revolution now. It says Revolution Makeup Revolution London, but Revolution's in bold, I think it's called that. This is the Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. I've actually used quite a lot of this. I use this every single day. Um, this is like, I wanna say it's like five pounds. It's just so, like it's such good value and it's such a great product. I don't really see much difference between this and like my Urban Decay one I used to use. Such a fine mist and it really locks your makeup into, into place. Like if I forget to use this, <clears throat> it doesn't taste great. 
if I forget to use this, then I definitely notice the difference, especially if you're feeling like your makeup's looking a little bit cakey or a bit powdery. This will just like settle all the powders down into your skin and will just give you a really nice finish. And I just love the price point of it. That's what makes me just love it the most. It's so great. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites this month. Okay, I've got a brush. I love sharing brushes in my favorites videos because I just go through phases with brushes and I just end up loving them. So I've been using this one a ton this month. I was watching um, a Shan XO video and she used like a really chunky fan brush to use like to put on her bronzer and I was like oh I want to try that so I've been using this it's the BH Cosmetics uh, number 16 brush and I've been using it with my Revolution Ultra Bronze of course um, and this just picks up such a nice amount of product and you can just like apply it so easily and I just love it I love how big it is I put it down my neck I apply it to like my cheekbones and my forehead and even like just the excess product I usually put down the sides of my nose and I found it was just really easy uh, before this I was using like a duo fiber brush but I think for summer especially when you want to be a bit more bronzed um, this is great because it will just kind of like it puts on a decent amount of product but also just fans it out and before I started using this for the uh, for bronzer I kind of struggled to find a use for it because it's quite chunky for highlighter like you could if you want to like be like drenched in highlight you could use this but I mean it is quite chunky but really it's actually perfect for bronzer you could even like contour with it be a bit more of a like fanned out contour but it would still do the trick and I just love this brush and I love BH Cosmetics brushes because I find they're actually like they they're good quality um, for the price like you really can't complain you can't ask for much more I use their brushes like almost every single day and I love them and this is definitely one of my favorites I got this in a set I assume you can get it on its own but I'm not sure um, but the set was great so if you want to go for the whole set just get it this is great it's so affordable anyway even with three brushes it came it came with three brushes in the set this being one of them um, yeah and I love it it's so okay. good I first started using micellar water about three or four years ago when like the trend started up and I know that most people are like a lot of people use the Garnier one but I always loved the L'Oreal one and it is a little bit more pricey but it was on offer and I decided to like pick it up it's um got different packaging to like when it first came out I have like old videos where I used to use it but this is the packaging now it's actually really similar to the Garnier one and I love it I'm not sure if it's like too different like dissimilar from the Garnier but it's like just as good if not better and I really do like the packaging of it actually um it's so good it just comes in such a big bottle 400 mils and I just find micellar water is just one of the best ways to remove makeup because it's just so gentle but it also does remove everything it doesn't irritate my skin I haven't used makeup wipes for years now um micellar water like makeup wipes used to just irritate my skin so much micellar water does the trick for me I use it basically every single day um I use it in the morning just to like give my face a quick cleanse I use it at night to remove makeup. I want to give it a shout out because I know a lot of people talk about Garnier, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about the L'Oreal one, but I honestly love it. I think it's so great. Definitely worth trying, especially if it's on offer. Speaking of cleansing, I've been loving this cleanser. It's the Unani Illuminate Milk Cleanser. I got this in a glossy box, I think. It smells really nice. Yeah, it smells really good. It's like, a, it's a milk cleanser, so it's not quite a cream. It's a bit more liquidy. I found this is actually really good at removing like waterproof makeup and everything. I have tons of cleansers like in my drawer, usually from subscription boxes and stuff, that I don't always get round to using them all. Um, so I've had this one for a while and I hadn't tried it and I ended up loving it. It's so gentle and because I have kind of sensitive skin, gentleness is like quite important to me. So I've been really liking this. Um, I actually don't know how much it is, like full price, but I have this huge, uh, how many mils? 200 mil bottle, it's basically full, even though I've used it a couple times. So I'm gonna be using this one for a while, but I really like it. I've tried a few things from this brand and this is definitely my favorite thing I've tried. Okay, that's like my main beauty skincare favorites, but I wanna mention an app. I don't think I've spoken about this before, but this is like my app I use for TV shows. Maybe I have spoken about this before, but it's called TV Time. And I love TV shows. 
and I know a lot of people do but I prefer them to like films like I just prefer like that they're longer that you can get more invested in the characters and everything like it's so great so I use this app all the time I'm gonna leave a link to my profile below like if you want to follow me because it'll be really cool to like have more of a community so I just wanted to mention some of my favorite shows this month I love the fact that you li you literally every episode you tick off when you've watched it so you can keep track of what you're watching and I love that I can like go back and look at what I've watched this month so I can literally tell you like what my favorites have been because I can see what I've actually watched and this month the beginning of this month I remember it so clearly because I was at Wimbledon and me and my housemate have been watching Jane the Virgin well she like recommended it to me and I watched season one and two in the space of like two and a half weeks and I do have a full-time job so it's not like I have all the spare time to sit there and binge watch and we were waiting for season three to come out in the UK and we were like oh we just want to watch it like where can we watch it it literally couldn't get it anywhere and then season three came out when I was at Wimbledon and I like facetimed her and I was freaking out and I was like oh my gosh season three so Jane the Virgin is definitely one of my favorites this month I watched the whole of season three probably in the space of way too short like 10 days or something literally 10 days from looking at this it was amazing I love the show I can't wait for season four it's going to be like every episode is going to be out on Netflix each week so I'm excited so that's definitely one of my favorites this month and then I caught up with the second half of season six of Suits and I was like loving that as well and that's now on season seven so that's definitely another favorite and then final TV favorite because I obviously need three for one month um Teen Wolf I got back into Teen Wolf I hadn't seen the second half of season five the first half of season six hasn't come out in the UK yet so I haven't seen that yet either I know it has aired in America um but yeah those are my three favorites I love Teen Wolf I've like obsessed with style since forever um Jane the Virgin is great Team Raphael all the way um and the Suits is just like one Suits is one of those shows that appeals to every single person like it has beautiful cast uh it's not like too girly or anything but it has got romance in it um and it's also just got drama like such good drama and it's so well written so those are my three favorites and um I've been loving them this month I want to mention one more thing I bought a watch only like uh this week actually um it's from Lipsy I have been wanting to buy like a more expensive watch for a while but I didn't want to buy it this month but I really actually needed a watch this month so I decided to just find one that was kind of like similar style to what I wanted but just a bit cheaper so this Lipsy watch was actually only 28 pounds or something I think it was around 30 but I got like an offer on it and I just wanted one that was kind of rose gold and yeah this basically did the trick so this is from Lipsy I really really love it I'll leave a link to where I bought it for this price um honestly obsessed and I also wanted to mention that I used another website to get cash back on it and I've been wanting to mention it I'm gonna make a separate video about this I think but I use this website called top cashback and it's actually been a favorite of mine this month as well because whenever I buy anything online I'll always double check to see if you can get cash back through that website for example um, I think Phil unique is on there right now for like 5% and basically all you have to do is click through that website make your order as normal and like purchase it and then you go to your top cashback account and the cashback amount will basically come into your account and it will take like a few weeks to process for it to validate and everything but eventually you'll just be able to transfer that money back to you they have vouchers and that kind of thing where you can like boost your cash back even further but if you literally just want the cash you can do that and i've made probably this month around like 30 pounds because i online shop too much but i literally love that website and i'm gonna leave a link below to it and if you go through the link below then you will receive five pounds into your account straight away as soon as you sign up i don't think you you can't just take the five pounds straight away i think you have to make like a valid purchase through the site but if you do a lot of um online shopping it's definitely a win like honestly i personally use it all the time especially if you're making like any big purchases like internet contracts or like broadband tv those kinds of things you can get like pretty hefty cash back um i saw one recently for like sky broadband or something to get 80 pounds cash back and honestly it's just free money there's no catch like it's it's just such a great thing i definitely would recommend it and i did that with my watch so i'm gonna get even even more off so i'm really excited about it and honestly i love it it's so pretty
Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually ended up having like way more favourites than I thought I did. Literally when I sat down to film this, I was like, I have nothing. But I had loads. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 1000 and I have a giveaway planned. I don't have the thing yet, but it has been ordered and it's coming soon and trust me, you're gonna want it. <laughs> I've ordered myself one and I've ordered one to give away as well. And I'm so looking forward to using it. I will show that in another video when I hopefully hit 1000. So I will see you in my next video. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.